All right, I'll try to make this relatively quick, uh, not because I'm trying to, uh, whatever, it's the battery's about to go, <clears throat> and I'm surprised. I have a backup battery, but I usually have them in rotation of being charged and whatnot, but I didn't. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, probably not going to do every turn. Well, I haven't been doing every turn anyways, but, uh, pro and until things start getting messy, probably it's going to be mostly, if I do anything, it'll be the, um, uh, uh, the Japo British um, turn just due to the fact that um, uh, the Austro Germans are just going to be basically sitting back, uh, defending. I'm just trying to get uh, improved positions for them and they're not going to go anywhere. I was talking to Meandry Mike and he's right. Uh, he's like, well, maybe, you know, now that you're getting a bit of uh, understanding of tactical uh, whatnots and as well as the, uh, the mechanisms for this rules, uh, these, for this game. Uh, maybe it would be a good idea to, to uh, play this scenario out again because I am all already it's like damn it it's turn nine and you know we're running out of steam and now I'm starting to clue in this uh, it's baby steps still but I mean I'm starting to clue in so I did uh, make all the moves um, I'm going to show you who's going to be able to attack a lot of these guys a lot of the British troops are not able to attack here I did manage to get a ton of them out of uh, um, out of their uh, improv uh, improved positions. They need a one one to a four. The British to get out, um, uh, and then I just started cluing in. I was like, "Look at the range of what they can hit you with, and get ready to jump." Um, a significant number of these guys cannot attack. Um, this guy can. This guy. Uh, sorry, this guy can. This guy can, this guy can't, I do believe. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, no he can't. Um, this guy can, uh, this guy can, and all the, uh, the Japanese did uh, whatever I could, which was only the artillery piece over here. I, I did take a shot and I was amazed. I was actually uh, able to cause um, an enemy disruption in a town in, um, in an improved and they're in an improved position I was really surprised anyways I spread out my tr uh, the Japanese troops uh, there it's six turns left I doubt they're going to be able to do anything I think what it's going to be basically be now for the Japanese is just a cat and mouse try to keep these guys and maybe this guy as well occupied there's it's <clears throat> it's just the way to go so I'm keeping everybody out of position if these guys want to try to pull I know there there's no artillery here so if they want to come out, they're going to have to, uh, you know, jeopardize their defense. And I doubt they're going to want to do that. If anything, they'll probably just slink on back. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. So we're going to try to take a pock shot at here, at, at some guys here and see if I can um, cause a disruption. Um, getting awfully close. I'm getting awfully close. I know they have some uh, good defensive areas because you know some of them are on a crest of a hill and some of them are on the actual hill and if they start getting into improved positions two of them do all these pink guys are just to show me uh, which ones are being observed it's, it was driving me up the tree having so many whatevers so that's that okay and also meandry Mike mentioned to me that there's like a page of errata which I have to go and take a look at at some point so that's that so like I said all the Japanese are done so here we go We've got uh, 15 range here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I can hit both of them, they are both been observed. Uh, this guy's going to be able to return fire. This guy could return fire, he's a machine gun, uh, and he's in, imp in an improved position. I do believe that's the only thing there, yep. Alright, so we've got 11, 22, 33, and I'll try to, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And I'm going to try to um, fire all three. I'm going to see if I can try to dis uh, disrupt both. That's basically what I'm going to try to do here. Say, so slow down here. So I've got 33 points. They're going to be chopped in half because these guys are observed. So that's um, uh, 16 and a half. So we'll say 16. I think Manry Mike was also telling me you should always uh, round down nine times out of ten, but he was playing the uh, Mighty Endeavor and it was like round up and it's been causing his brain all kinds of interesting little uh, issues. All right, and they're in an improved position. 
they're in woods, which means they have a defense value of, of um, uh, 10, so it's a one-to-one, one-to-one. Shit. Well, let's just go up with it. One-to-one. One. And this guy will be a one-to-two, because he's uh, five-and-a-half to a five to ten. Because he's also uh, in an improved position. So, yeah, I like, I like using this thing. It reminds me of the dad versus son. It was actually what I was using way back when, when I was playing horse and musket. Okay, you don't see it, but it's a three on a one to one. So they're dis, um, so that's an enemy um, disruption. They still get the fire back, but uh, next turn they won't be able to, uh, they won't be able to fire during their turn, which is great. So. We got a strength strength of 17. They might as well go for. Um, they can go for this guy. I think I should. Yeah, let's go for this guy. All right, so that's a two, to a 17. So it's an auto auto kill. Seven to one odds. More than seven to one's odds. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's an auto kill. Boof. Gone. All right, and then I've got this guy over to here, and then he'll be able to mutual fire as well on, but it's the odds of him hitting are next to nil. Uh, one in five, so forget it. He won't be able to hit him. So that's uh, f uh, one to two odds, because he's, he's a five out of ten. And that's it. And like I said, I don't even know if this is recording anymore because the, uh, the battery was in such poor shape. So it's a one and a one to two. Holy smokes. So another D result. So that's essentially what we wanted um, to try to um, get some of these guys to um, not fire back during their turn. And hopefully that'll allow us to um, mosey on up uh, super quick. That's it. Um, and now I'm going to go off to the, um, the Austro-German turn, like I said, but it's not going to be doing much. I'm just going to be shooting back, and I can't shoot back with these guys. I don't think I can shoot back with anybody, so maybe a super quick turn. All right, that's it. Um, yep, I don't think I'll be doing every single whatever until, like, unless uh, some juicy bits uh, start popping up. All right, hope you're having fun. See ya.